Go, Aisha. Okay, so I um. Going live in five, four, three, two. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started. I was listening to my hype music, um, and that's something that I, I want you guys to understand. That um, I'm really excited that everybody's on right now. Um, you know, for those that have hopped on this call, believe me, this year is about to be really, really good for you. Um, this is about to be a really amazing year uh, in 2017, and the reason why I'm stating that is because of what we're about to make happen. Okay, so I want you guys to start thinking in the future. I always, I always like to tell my team that we're not in the present, we're in the future, we live in the future. Uh, because if you have vision, you could, you could direct yourself, right? Um, I'll give you a good example, which will be a GPS. Um, you know, in order for you to get to a location, you need to put that address in a GPS. Now, if you do not have any location to put in the GPS, guess what? you will be driving around for hours and hours and hours and pretty much you're wasting your gas, right? So what, what is going to happen is if you do have a GPS location, you can get from point A to point B. And that's pretty much what your life is as well. Um, your life, you have to have a GPS, right? You have to have a, look, a place where you are going and if you're not able to if you're not able to direct yourself to get to that location, you're going to just be driving and you'll, you'll just be driving in circles. So right this very moment, I actually found out a revolutionary thing here. Before we get into anything, um, I found out a revolutionary thing that is going to make you a lot of money. And it's very, very easy. All right. Now, everybody on this call, um, I want you to know that we all say that, you know, network marketing uh what we do doesn't we don't have we don't have a boss but but our boss does exist and our boss is our calendar if your calendar is empty you do not have any money coming in and what i mean by that is if you do not have anything scheduled if you're not showing vita divina to your people you do not you're not going to be making any money so right this very moment let's kind of let's try to make our boss happy I want everybody on this call right now to literally take about two minutes and send out a text, okay? Now, you're going to invite 10 people. That is really, really simple, isn't it? You're just going to send out a text to 10 people, inviting to meet up with them. So you can say, hey, um, what is your schedule looking like next week? I would like to get... I'd like to meet up with you or any type of invitation. You want to make an appointment right now. So you can say, you can say, hey, how's your schedule looking like next week? I'd like to get up with you. Or you can literally send them a, a message saying coffee, question mark, or tea, question mark, or hey, I'd like to meet up for, you know, we can, we can meet up for breakfast or whatever. So I want everybody to take out some time right now and send 10 text messages. You want to send 10 text messages. It could be the same message. You're going to copy it, and you're going to send it out. And that's how we're about to start this call. So take out 10. Uh, we're gonna, it's only going to take about two to three minutes. Copy and paste if you want to. But send out 10 messages to 10 people that you haven't exposed this business to yet. And I want you to say, hey, you could use the first way you could say it is coffee, question mark, T will be the second one, question mark, or, hey, I would like to, uh, or you can say, hey, how's your schedule looking like next week? I would like to meet up, or um, would you like to go out for breakfast next week? Or, you know, just, just book an appointment. Any type of way you want to make it, that's what you, you will make happen. So 10 people right now, copy and paste, send them a text message right now, inviting them to inviting them to, um, you know, to meet up with them. Now, if they, if they give you any type of object, objections, we'll get to that. But I want y'all to just send 10 people an invitation. Because remember, you, the goal is to try to get your, your schedule booked. Okay? The goal is to try to get your schedule booked. And your boss is your calendar. And if your calendar is full, that means money's in your pocket. So the goal is to try to, to, to get your schedule booked. 
now after you send you send this text message uh to 10 people um you know after you send the message to 10 people we're going to go ahead and and continue with this call you're going to start receiving a lot of messages back it's going to be you're going to be surprised how many uh how many appointments you can schedule in okay so you can say again you can send them coffee question marks hey what's your schedule looking like next week i'd like to get up with you um you know or or meet up for lunch call uh coffee or whatever you know if you don't want to spend any money you could get you guys could even meet up in the library or you guys can meet up in some recreation uh, recreational place or anything like that the goal is to book an appointment and an appointment is how you're going to be able to show your information so 10 people 10 people guys just send your information to 10 people and then um 10 text messages out that's going to be easy as i'm doing the same thing so i'm sending out uh, my messages here as well so give me a second All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I went ahead and I sent mine. Um, I'm a strong believer in doing everything that I tell you guys to do. Um, so you should start getting some response. Uh, your phone will be going off. People are going to say, huh, or sure, or uh, what's up. So if they ask you, you know, if they ask you what it is, um, tell them that you, you know, you have, you have a project that you want to show them or you have an idea that you want them to see, or you know you just have a launch that you want them to see. So let them also know what you're inviting them to. Uh, and, then, and then that's it. Now they hit you up saying that, oh, is this one of these network marketing schemes, or oh, are you trying to sign me up or anything like that as an objection? How you could counter that is say, no, I'm not trying to sign you up. I would just like to meet up with you and you know and just you know have a, a cup of coffee or whatever you your schedule is to them now if they if they feel some type of way about the business that just means that somewhere somehow they've been burnt before with network marketing or something like that so this could be your opportunity to to really once you guys start talking and building rapport you can ask them, okay, so what really happened like why do you feel this way about the business whatever but I want you to understand that this is just to have a regular conversation all right so you're not your goal is not to try to sign them up for vita divina is to try to build a relationship with them and with this relationship that you're building with them is going to give you an opportunity to expose vita divina to them okay so it's very easy i'm pretty sure right now all y'all phones is jumping right now a lot of people are hitting you up saying sure locking in your positions whatever now the good thing about this is is that is one of the easiest ways to to really book an appointment. It's one of the easiest ways to book an appointment, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys are already starting to see the results. A lot of you guys are seeing the results right now in your phone. A lot of people are probably responding to that. Okay. Now, uh, so that's the very first thing that I wanted us to do. So we've gotten that out of the way. If you send out your ten your ten text messages, I'm pretty sure it was very very easy. It shouldn't be hard at all. It shouldn't be hard. If it's hard, I don't know. You're probably doing it wrong. But it shouldn't be very hard at all. Um, and the next thing that I want to show, now this is actually for 
this is actually for um, my team personally, but at the end of the day, it's still going to be it's still going to be for everybody else, just so that you guys see that um, you know the type of culture that I'm trying to create. Um, so let me just do this here. Take a look. As you guys see right here, right, I have about 500 names down. Okay, now most of you guys probably do not like to call people, so that's why we're doing the text messages to at least start your appointments going. Okay, but just take a look here. So this is the first page uh, with one, two. Each each line is about 25 names, so each page is 50 name. It's 50. It's 50 names. Okay, so I have this one. Then we get here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so so just do the math. You guys could already see how many names it is. Now, I am going to, within the next three days, I am going to physically contact everybody on this list. The reason being is I want to make a lot of money with Vita Divina. And in order for you to make money in network marketing, you have to do it fast. You cannot do it slow. It doesn't, it doesn't take time. Network marketing is not a typical business. It's not one of those that slow wins the race you know, the turtle versus the hare or whatever you hear, the stories. It doesn't exist like that. Pretty much the faster you build your business in network marketing, the quicker you're going to see results and the more you will build momentum. So I have made all this list of people, the people that are personally on my team, you guys will benefit from this because everybody that I recruit on this list will fall underneath of of somewhere in your structure somewhere who knows and what will happen is this will build a momentum culture and you're going to see a lot of people joining which then will make them feel comfortable to go ahead and invite now just like how you guys just did the invitation uh, on the text message side I'm pretty sure that now you guys are starting to feel a little bit better because most of you guys have have made appointments right now it looks like Miss Queen is right there scheduling appointments like crazy. <laughs> but it looks like it looks like most of you guys have already made some appointments, and that is that is really really good. Now, um, one more announcement. So on Monday, which would be the twenty, Monday would be the twenty sixth. I have a really I've, I've 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 scheduled a big room. It's going to be in Lith in Lithicum, Maryland. And what I'm going to do is we're doing a big presentation um, and it's going to be around five o'clock PM. The, the, the incentive is to have, it's called the launch. And pretty much what it is, is we're going to do a presentation, but it's going to be on a huge scale. That room could fit um, 95 people. So we're trying to do a really, really big presentation. We're going to call it the launch. The reason why we're calling it the launch is because it's going to jump us into next year. And I want everybody on this call to at least bring about five people to this presentation. The incentive is if you bring five people, you do not have to pay. Every IBO has to pay $5 to get into the building. That's how we're paying for the venue. Okay, we're paying for the venue. Um, that's the deal that I made with the owner of the venue. So every IBO will pay five dollars to come in. However, what I'm doing is for my team personally, and I think Miss Queen is doing the same thing, if I'm not mistaken, is if you are able to bring five people in, in your structure, if you're able to bring five people into your business, um, if you're able to invite five people to this invitation. What will then happen is these five people, um, by you bringing five prospects, you no longer have to pay. So this is for, for Team Vision. If you bring five people in, I will pay your $5 for you. So pretty much your entry will be free, okay? So it's kind of a little bit of incentive to bring five people to the presentation. Now, the reason why the, 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 six, uh, the 26 is so important is the day after Christmas, right? It's the day after Christmas, and the beautiful thing about it is Everybody is off. A lot of people are off on that day because it's a day after Christmas. So because, because it's the day after Christmas and a lot of people are off, it's going to be a good way to get a lot of people out. Now, I have a really big vision for this because, again, I'm calling it the launch because I want it to be the jumpstart to reset, to kind of shape the game for everyone. 
I want it to be the, the ultimate starter that is going to make every single body have a great 2017. And, and I want you guys to all have this type of mindset. Now, everybody on this call is an entrepreneur. Everybody on this call is an entrepreneur. And I know that everybody is an entrepreneur because you wouldn't be part of this business if you weren't. Now, because you are an entrepreneur, one of the things that you have to have is that burning desire, right? You have to have that burning desire to win. And you're going to reach moments where it's going to be hard for you to bounce back. But everybody who is on my team, a lot of people who that, that are on my team know that I'm a very, I'm a very energetic person. And I, I always talk about what we call state. What, I, what do I mean by state? Anytime that you're going to a presentation, anytime that you're talking to a human being, anytime that you're interacting with somebody, you are showing them your state. Your state is your emotional state, how you feel at the time of communication. Now, if you do not have the right state, you send the wrong message. What do I mean by that? Have you ever been pissed off at somebody that you tell them something that you don't mean to say? or your, your, your body language sends them a message that you really do not mean. That's because of what your emotional state is. Now, as a, I have a way for you guys to actually kind of help work on your state. And it's, it's very, very weird, but you need to understand that everything that I'm talking about will be science. Okay, so I'm not just saying stuff out of my butt here. I hope I'm not anyways. Uh, but there are things as human beings that you could do to alter your state. And the very first one is this. You can breathe, you take four breaths inside, like you take four deep breaths and you exhale four times. So you, and while you're doing that, you tap your fingers, right? If you do that for five minutes, that will change your state. Now, why am I telling you about state? Because anytime you're about to present this business to somebody, anytime that you're about to show somebody about your business, you want to be at 100%. You want to be at the highest level that you can be so that when you're sharing this, they can feel your passion. They can see how excited you're getting about Vita Divina. And sometimes I also listen to a lot of motivational things as well uh, to, get me hype, to get me hype. Me and Keenan did a presentation, right? And he came and sat in my car. <laughs> Keenan remembers the vividly. He came and he sat in my car and we played a, uh, I played some motivational things and we both got hyped. We got hyped like we were about to go play football or something. Keenan couldn't stop moving. He was so hyped. And the presentation was amazing because of the energy that he had. Now, that's because our state was up there. And it's all based on our energy, right? State is your emotional state that links to your energy. So you want to give people your 100% when you're talking about Vita Divina. Now, the good thing about this business is it makes sense. It's kind of like selling coffee to a coffee drinker right? If somebody wants to lose weight, if somebody wants to have a better, a better lifestyle, it is very easy to sell them on this product. You don't even need to say anything, you know? And because it's so easy, because it's so easy to share this information with people, you have to get over the own barrier that you give yourself and the barrier that you make when you're trying to communicate the business. Because sometimes there's the mistake that most of us do is we overthink about what we need to tell somebody. Rather than just having a casual conversation, letting the person see the vision, letting the person see what this company could do for them, we always think about, okay, what is the right thing for me to tell this person? How should I say this? How am I gonna look in front of this person? Like, and then you start doubting yourself. You start saying things to sabotage your own self. And by you doing that, you end up actually messing up your market. So I want you to understand that, again, in order for you to get in the state, take four deep breaths, excel four times, tap your fingers where you're doing it. And I also, I do affirmations, okay? Now, um, a lot of people do not do affirmations because they think you're crazy. Uh, when you do affirmations, you look crazy. But think about it. If every successful person, every millionaire, every billionaire, if they're doing it, and every regular person that you know is not doing affirmations, Clearly, there's something wrong. If somebody who makes millions of dollars wakes up and tells themselves every day in every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger, right? Or they say, like me, I, I wake up and I say, Limwell is platinum, 
by January 31st, 2017, 100%. Limwall will make sure that my downline is gold at this point. Limwall does this. Limwall does that. I'm, I'm, I'm stronger. New, nobody can outwork Limwall. Limwall is the best. I do everything right. Limwall, you're going to make this. You're gonna, every time I tell myself this, to be honest, the last, the last five minutes before this call, I was still saying my affirmations. I wake up with affirmations. I go to sleep with affirmations. The reason why I do affirmations is because 75% 70, of communication is between yourself, is you and yourself. And what happens with your subconscious mind? Remember, most of us, we only use about 10% of our brain. The, the rest is our subconscious. Is that, is that correct? The rest is your subconscious. Your subconscious works on what it hears. Believe, think about it. Your belief system, what you believe in, who you are as a person, is from things that you've heard ever since you were a child. Things that was taught to you. Things that people told you when you were young. That is what have de defined you as a person that you are today. So why don't you talk to yourself to become better, right? Why don't you tell yourself things over and over so that you instill that in yourself, in your own self? That is where belief comes from. If you want to believe something, you want to tell yourself so many times that yourself starts believing it. Because at first, if right now, if I tell everybody on this call, you're going to be a millionaire, you're going to be like, I don't believe that. Or if you do believe that, then that's wonderful. But if you do not believe that, if you don't believe that you can make a million dollars, you need to tell yourself that over and over and over and over till yourself believes that that's going to happen. You want to lie to yourself. What, you lie to yourself so much that your lie becomes the truth. That's what you want to do. Because I, I know that you guys have some friends that lie so much that they believe their own lie. Right? I'm pretty sure everybody on this call knows that person that lies that lies about everything, but they believe their own lie. That's what you want to do. You want to lie to yourself. You want to lie to yourself to the point that you yourself believe that. You yourself believe that you can achieve whatever you, you're, you're saying that you can achieve. You want to be able to do that, okay? So you want to keep having affirmations. So if you do not have any affirmations in your life right now, please incorporate that in your life. Because if millionaires, if billionaires are doing it and the regular people that you know are not doing it, you do not want to be regular. Everybody on this call is not regular. You're an entrepreneur. You do not want to work for somebody. You do not want to be in the same box. You want to be outside the box. And the only way to be outside the box is to do something that regular people are not doing. Affirmations work. High athletes do affirmations. Tony Robbins does affirmations. Richard Branson, who is a multi-billionaire, does affirmations. So if regular people are not doing it, who do you want to listen to? The choice is yours, right? Who are you going to follow? Because guess what? Success leaves clues. If you do everything that somebody who is successful is doing, by default, you're going to be successful. There's no way about it. There's no way about it. So you want to put that into your favor. You want that to work in your favor, right? So if you don't do affirmations, do affirmations. Anytime you wake up, listen to about, about five to ten minutes of just positive information. Keep telling yourself. Like for me, when I wake up, I, the first thing, anytime I wake up, the first thing I do is what I, what I told you guys, which is I wake up and I do my breathing, that four breath. Every day, in every way, I'm getting stronger and stronger. I'll become a platinum by January 31st, 2017. I, my friends will be billionaires. Keenan is already a freaking uh, ruby in this business out here. Keenan, isn't that right? That's what I'm talking about, Keenan. You already are. Brandon, we're going to kill it for you. Uh, Juan, it's good that you just joined, bro. It's Good that you just joined. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And pretty much my goal is to try to help my team get there. Now I'm running to my own team's pocket. 
The good thing about this business is if I make everybody who I know become successful by default, I'm going to create a culture. And that's all I want. I want us to create a Vida Divina culture. Because right now, the good thing about this business is you do not need lifestyle to promote it. All you need is to lose some weight, which the products already help you do. You already have the testimonies. Pretty much we have everything that we need. It's just that we have to believe ourselves, okay? Now, something that I always share with my team, that for the people that are not on my team, you guys are about to hear is, is this. It's we as human beings, we have two things. We have what we call our blueprint and our life conditions, okay? Our life conditions is the situation that we're going through right now. Our blueprint is our DNA. So if you're happy, if you're somebody who's happy right now, right? Have you ever asked yourself, why are you happy? Oh, before I even get, I even get into that, you guys understand what thinking is. You know that thinking is you asking yourself questions. When, whenever you think is the questions that you're asking yourself. That is what we call thinking, right? And most of the time, we think in a negative way or we think in a way that affects us biologically. What do I mean by that? We were like, ah, uh, why am I so lazy? Ah, uh, why do people treat me like this? Ah, uh, why is all these bad things happening to me? Oh my God, why am I having such a bad day? Oh my God, why did this person disappoint me? And when you keep asking your body these questions, guess what? It has to give you an answer. So it give you an answer like, well, this thing's happened to you because maybe you're pathetic. Maybe you're weak. Maybe if you wasn't late for this presentation, this wouldn't have happened. Maybe if you didn't do this, this would have happened. Right? So I want you guys to start thinking in a different way. I want you guys to start asking yourself the right questions. And the right question says, so how many people am I going to help today? Today is going to be a great day, but who can I affect today? Today is going to be amazing. What can I do today? How can I make myself better than what I was to yesterday? How can I grow today? What are some of the positive things that I could do today? Anytime you're thinking, these are the things that you want to think about, regardless of whatever situation you're going through. And I'm not saying, I'm not trying to downplay whatever situation you're going through because I do understand that some of the time we, we go through some emotional and physical situations that keep us down. But I want you guys to understand something. And this is even why I called my team, Team Vision, because we think about the future. If you think about everything that's happening right now in your life, and we say we, play, we press the pause button, and we rewinded your life a year ago. I can guarantee you that everything that is happening right now didn't happen last year. It might have been the same situations, but the way it happened was different. Now, just imagine if you had planned your future. So let's say, what is today, the 21st? So 12-21-2015, if you had planned for 2016 on this date, what you wanted to happen, I can guarantee you that your future would have been way different than what it is now. So what I'm asking you, or what I'm challenging you to do is, I want you to start thinking different. I want you to start thinking ahead. I want you to start planning your future as to what you want to happen. Remember, the grass always grows. Grass always grows. Either you cultivate it or you leave it alone, you're gonna get wheat or you're gonna get a flower garden. However you, you think about it, however you shape your future is what you will get. So moving on forward, moving on forward, I want you guys to really start thinking about the future and change how you think about yourself. Think about your situation that is happening right now. Everything that's happening right now is only temporary. Everything that's happening is temporary. It's not, it's not going to last forever. So because it's not going to last forever, we're going to try to make it as best as possible, right? We're going to try to step up our game. We're going to try to become the better versions of us for 2017. This is why I'm calling the presentation on Monday the launch, because this is going to be a launch into a brighter future for all of us. We're going to create a culture so big that everybody will want to join our culture. We're going to do Vita Divina so big that even the industry of network marketing cannot see what we're about to do. They're going to join, and they're going to be like, whoa. So this is the culture of Vida Divina. We're leading with love. We're showing a lot of people how to change their lives. Everybody will want to be a part of what we do. Everybody will get excited about what we do. 
And that's what you want to do. I want everybody to be leaders of that. Remember, all of us on this call, we're pioneers. Because if you really think about it, we're not officially launched. We're not officially launched. Vida, Vida, Vida Divina launches in January. We're still pioneers. We're the ones that is introducing this to a lot of people. So I want you guys to start getting excited. I want you guys to really have some passion when you talk about this because this will change your life. It changed Albert Jekyll's life. Albert Jekyll is literally one of my closest friends. He's, he's my roommate. He was homeless. He was homeless three months ago. Nah, two months ago. He was homeless. But now he makes $60,000 a month. $60,000. Because he believed. If he could do it, you could do it. If he could do it, I could do it. I've done it before. We're going to do it again. We're going to do it bigger this time. We're going to make it better. And I need all of your help. I cannot do it alone. That's the beautiful thing about it. Your team cannot do it without you. Your team needs you. You're going to be a leader. You're going to make a lot of things happen. Believe me, 2017 is about to be your best year ever. Guaranteed. Do you know why it's going to be your best year ever? Because as human beings, guess what? If you're not growing, you're dying. Think about it. Every day that passes, you grow. Your body grows. You cannot stop growth. If you're not growing, you're dying inside. And I know that everybody on this call does not want to die. I don't want to die. I don't know about you but I don't want to die. I want to grow. So if I want to grow, I'm going to grow in any way I can. I'm going to grow mentally. I'm going to grow physically. I'm going to grow in the way I connect with people. I'm going to grow with the way I communicate with people. And I want you guys to understand that as human beings, we all have six needs. We all want certainty. We all want variety. We all want significance. We all want connection and love. We all want growth. I said six, right? And I put five fingers up, Jesus. And, <laughs> and we all want, um, the last one is we all want um, contribution. That's the last one, right? Depending on who you are, these things affect you differently. What do I mean by that? Some people like to be certain. Some people want to know what their future is, 100%. Some people think that if you're certain, if you only do one thing over and over, you're boring. So they want variety. Some people want to be the people who stunt, who walk in the room, everybody looks at them. They want to be the attention grabbers. They're the people who pride themselves in significance. Some people just want love. Some people just want to connect with people and be loved. They just want love. That's connection. Now, love could be somebody loving you, intimacy, whatever, right? Some people just love. And, but, but one of the things is not some people. Everybody on this call loves growth. And you don't even realize it yet. Have you ever done something that you didn't think you could do and when you did it, you felt good? That's growth. For the people who go to the gym, anytime you will lift that weight that you didn't think you could lift, guess what? That is growth. You get excited because physically your body has moved on to the next level, right? So everybody has to grow. Everybody wants to contribute. Everybody wants all these six needs. What is your six needs? You should ask yourself, right this very moment, I'm pretty sure everybody's like, I want to have extra money. But stop and really think about it. Why do you want to make a lot of money? Why do you want to make, why do you want to, 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 to become better for yourself? What is the real reason why you want to make that difference? And I'll give you a good example. My, at first, my goal was I want to become wealthy. Why, did I, why does Limo want to become wealthy? Well, if I'm wealthy, I'll be able to make everybody around me happy, okay? So that means that it's not the money that I want. It's the emotion that I could give people when I have that money. And the beautiful thing is we already have that in us. Everybody on this call is already successful. Everybody on this call is already wealthy. Everybody on this call has all the resource that we need. Think about it. Money is never an issue. And I want you guys to understand that. Money is never an issue. If, you ever, if you've ever been in a situation that you needed money, you, didn't, you don't need money. You need creativity. That's what you need. Because you, if you are creative enough, 
you can find a way to get some money. Period. If you're creative enough, you will find a way to get some money. So it's never the lack, it's never the lack of resource because we're already resourceful as human beings. Okay? So I want you guys to think about that. So I'm, I'm, I, I, you know, let me just go over, over some of these things that, that I want us to talk about today. Um, I've just been rapping a lot. I hope you guys are taking notes. But I want you guys to understand that all these things that I'm talking about, this, you know, these skill-based things, is the little things here that really make a difference, okay? So I want to, I want to uh, show you guys a couple of things here. And this is for the people that think that they cannot, um, if you feel as though that your market is, is limited, if you feel as though that you don't have anybody on your market and you can't get anybody on your market, this will help you out a lot, okay? This will help you out a lot. So let's do this here. Um, and it's what we call form. F O R M. This is how you can be able to start regular conversations with people and um and be able to not only build a rapport but get their number, get their number, or get some type of contact information. So this is a good way to get prospects. Okay, it's a good way to get prospects on your team. Um now, again, as I said, I don't think all of you guys have even been through all your phone books yet. Because if you look at your phone book right now, I can guarantee you that you have over 10, 000, I mean, over 1,000 contacts within your phone right now. But, you know, this is if you believe that you don't have any prospects to contact, you could use this form. F-O-R-M. The first one is family. Second one is occupation. Third one is recreation. And fourth one is money or motivation. Okay? So, again, it's called form. And I'm going to give you steps by step on how to start a cold prospect. Like uh, how to have a conversation with somebody that you're meeting for the very first time that you're trying to get them, um, that you're trying to get them started into the business. So, because of that, um, I'll, I'll actually try to do it live. So I'll try to unmute one of you guys so that you guys can help me go through it. But before we get to that, I want you guys to write the steps down. So the very first thing is you do not want to go out to just go prospecting. Please don't do that. Don't just leave your house and say today, I'm, my goal is to try to talk to 10 people. Or let me go try to find prospects for my business. Because what that does is that creates an aura around you. People can sense that aura that you're a predator, right? They, they get that, that aura that, okay, this guy is just trying to get me to do something. Or this, this lady is trying to get me to do something. They get that aura. You do not want that aura, okay? You literally want to talk to people when you're out doing whatever you're doing. So let's say that today you have some, some errands that you want to run. What you want to do is while you're running that errand, you can have about uh, five quarters or five dimes or five nickels, whatever, in your pocket. And your goal is to try to move your, 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 your nickels, dimes, whatever, your coins. Your goal is to move from those five from your left pocket to your right pocket. Now, what do I mean by that? Everybody that you talk to, everybody that you're able to get some contact information will equal one movement. All right? So it could be a little game that you play with yourself where you have five quarters on your pocket, five quarters in your pocket, that you move from left to right or right to left, whichever one works for you, okay? Now, when you first go out and you meet somebody, the very first thing that you want to do, when you approach somebody to talk to them, when you approach somebody to even have a conversation with them, the very first thing you want to do is you want to give a sincere compliment. When I say sincere, I mean sincere. Don't make no generic thing that you tell every single body. Like, don't, 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 um, don't fake it. Don't fake it. Please don't fake it because people can tell when you're faking it. So the very first thing is you want to give a sincere compliment. And if you can't have anything sincere to talk about somebody, you need to change your mindset. Because people are beautiful. Every single body in this room is beautiful. There's something that I could compliment you on, and it's going to be sincere. 
it's possible. Remember, this this goes against to how you change. This goes to how you change your your mindset. Okay, so you want to have a sincere compliment. So you have a sincere compliment. Then you're going to introduce yourself. Now, when you're introducing yourself, it can be literally simple. You're going to introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Lemuel. Nice to meet you. What is your name? Right? The next thing is this, and this is something that is very, very important and it's psychological that a lot of people do not even do it. I do it with Miss Queen all the time and she doesn't even realize. Is you want to say the person's name five times. Because guess what? 90% 90, 90 of us, we do not remember names. I was really horrible with people's names. We do not remember names. So a trick to remember somebody's name is to say five times while you're having a conversation with them. So I'll use Miss Queen as an example. I'll meet her. I'll say, hey, Miss Queen, you have such a beautiful smile today. Um, how are you doing? You know, well, well, let's say I don't meet, I don't know her. Okay, let me give you the steps first, then I'll go through, I'll go through the steps by, uh, step by steps with you. Um, I'll give you the steps first, then I'll, I'll, I'll act it out for you guys. So you want to say the person's name five times, right? Then the next thing is you want to mirror the person. You want to mirror them. So if the person speaks fast, you want to speak a little bit faster. If the person speaks slow, you want to tone it down. You want to speak a little bit slower. Because guess what? 75% of communications is with ourselves. So if I'm always talking fast to myself, and you as a stranger, you talk to me and you're talking slow, I will not understand that. The message will come across a little bit smoother if you're speaking on the same frequency as me. Does that make sense? So if I'm talking fast, you want to talk faster so that I can hear you better. If I speak slow, you want to speak slow so that I can hear you better because that's how I hear myself. Okay? So you want to have that. Now, the, the fifth one is not really a step, but it's something that I want everybody on this call to perfect. You have to have your elevator pitch. You want to be able to describe yourself, your business. In a, in, in a few small sentences. I'll give you one. When people ask me what I do, I tell them, hey, listen, I'm a lifestyle coach. I teach people how to leverage their time to make extra money. Do you know anybody that could benefit from that? I don't talk about Vita Divina. I don't tell them I'm a network marketer. We are not network marketers, guys. I want you to understand that you're not a network marketer. You're not, you're, not, you're not a commercial. You're a human being. You're doing business through word of mouth. So you want to have an elevator pitch to the point where it's, it's tailored to you and it's, it comes out natural and authentic. Okay? So you want it to be natural and authentic. All right? So remember, these are the five steps. If you follow these steps, you should be able to build rapport with anybody that you meet. You should be able to at least get the contact of everybody that you meet. So let me act it out. Let me act it out. So let me, let me see who I want to unmute uh, here to act this out with. Uh, let's see. I want to use some, one of you guys that I've never met before because I think it will be a little bit, a little bit more genuine. Let's do this here. Give me one second, guys. Miss Carpenter, I choose you as Pokemon. <laughs> okay, okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Okay, so we're about to act this out. We've never met before. No, okay. I, I am about to introduce myself to you. So we're about to act this out. Okay, so I see that you're sitting there. Let's say I just, I'm walking. We're going to use the space, right? So you have a nice, you have a really nice background, by the way. I like the whole Vita Divina stuff that you got back there. Thank you. You know, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right, so look, I see you have a really nice smile. 
You have a really nice smile. How are you doing today? How's your day going? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm doing excellent. My name is Limo, by the way. What is your name? Latasha. Oh, so your name is... Okay, you're, you're... I'm sorry, can you say that again? I said we got two L's. I'm Latasha, you're Limo. Oh, yeah, two L's. So your name is Latasha. Is that, is that right, Latasha? Yes. Okay, okay. So, so you know, how are you enjoying your holidays? Have you done your Christmas shopping yet, Latasha? Mm-mm. I've done about as much as I'm going to do. Oh, okay. You haven't done, you haven't done it yet? I've done as much as I'm going to do. Oh, you've done <laughs> as much as you're going to do for the family? Right, that's right. So all the family is going to get <laughs> the right gifts. Isn't that right, Latasha? I'm gonna try to give them the right gifts. Yeah, you, you'll try to give them the right gifts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, well, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Uh, so, so is your family in this area? Um, everyone except for my son, who's in his fourth year of college. Oh, cool, 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 cool. So your son, your son is not here. So where is he at? Where is he at? He's in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Oh, cool. What is he studying? He's studying sound. Um, I'm a um sound engineer, and he's trying to be a. I'm sorry, his own record label. Oh, wow. Wow, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, so, so I'm pretty sure that he keeps you busy and the family keeps you busy. Is that right? Of course. Don't your family keep you busy? Um, they do. They do. You know, they, they keep me busy. Um, the only thing is I only have my siblings as family. <laughs> so I'm the only one. I don't have any kids or anything like that. But, you know... So, so what do you do anyways? Um, you know, I'm a little bit curious about, you know, what you do. What do you do? Well, I got 26 years with Verizon. Oh, wow. 26 years. So with all that, with all that 26 years, that means they pay you something big. They're paying me decent. I oh. live paycheck to paycheck. Okay. Okay. Wow. No, I mean, I used to, I used to, um, I used to do uh, a conventional thing like that too, but now you know, uh, it's crazy things have changed a little bit for me. Uh, but before we continue, I want to do this. I want everybody to realize something. Um, as I was speaking with her, I said her name five times for me to remember. That's why I was doing these counts. I don't know if you guys noticed. I said her name five times. There's something psychological about saying somebody's name when you you have a conversation with them. Okay. If you have you ever have you ever met somebody and you like there's something about this person that I like, but you don't know what it is, because anytime you say somebody's name in a soothing way, to so the way if you say their first name right, if you say their name correct, by default you're already you already have the one up on them. They're gonna start liking you. They're gonna start liking you. Okay, so so I said her name five times for me to remember her name, for me personally to remember her name. And on top of that, for her to know that I want to, I want to be friends with her. Also, when you're talking to people, please don't fold your arms. Just kind of leave your, your front open. That, that makes it look like you're welcoming. Okay? I know I can't do this over the Zoom call, but if we were in person, it would be way better. Um, so the very first thing is I said it five times. And then I, I, I started going into my form. Okay? I asked about her family. And I asked about, you know, who's in her family, how's her holiday shopping going, and things like that. So the first conversation we're talking about is family. She's going to ask about my family, right? Then, then you know, I asked her about occupation. Now, I haven't, asked, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to the recreation just yet. I just asked her about occupation, and she told me she works at Verizon. And, and um, I asked her, okay, so, you know, what, how long has she been there? She told me how long she's been there. Now, this is what you want to do. Anytime that somebody tells you their occupation, you want, to, you want to promote your occupation. So as I said, I was like, since you've been there for so long, you must be making a lot of money. Most, ten time, nine times out of ten, everybody will downgrade themselves. They're, all gonna, they're always going to say what she, exactly what she said. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Right? People will always do that. But your goal is to try to make them seem, is, or is to try to elevate them right? Your goal is to try to elevate them so that they, if they want to bring themselves down, they bring themselves down. Okay. So, so I'm, I, I was just making notes here. We could continue. Okay. We could continue. So, so, you know, now if we met wherever we met, let's say we met at a coffee shop, we're going to be talking about what coffee you're getting, but because we're doing the zoom call stuff, it's a little bit different, right? So 
I have to kind of force make some fake conversation with you, but it's just for illustration's sake. Okay. I got you. So, so you know, it looks like. So, do you, do your family have any type of family culture or uh, you know ritual y'all do? You know, around this time. Not really. Oh, not really. Mm -mm, not really. I got a oh. strange type of family. You say that again. You say you have a who? I got a strange family. You got a strange family. Yeah. How y'all strange? How y'all strange? How y'all strange? <laughs> Well, I mean, it's just like, just the one, you know, we don't get together or anything, you know, it's more so your immediate family who's in your house. So it's just about me and the kids. It's nobody else out there. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so do you have a culture with the kids? Um, do you, do you guys bake cookies? I mean, what do you guys do for fun? What do we do for fun? Yeah. Um, I, I'm, uh, I run around with my kids. I run around my daughter. She mm -hmm. um she's well rounded. She's into like she plays basketball. She does horseback riding. She plays the violin. She cheers. She does cross country. So I don't have no life. I just run around for my kids. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Well, your daughter you, that's 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 very high potential. She got everything going on. She right, does right. a lot. All right. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, I need look. some more time in my life. <laughs> Okay, you need some more time in your life. Well, you know, again, as I said, I'm a life coach. I help people have leverage their time, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and actually, it's crazy that you said that because I actually have a sister that likes to horse bike ride too. So one of, maybe one of these days we, we can link up. Um, we can link up and, you know, go horse bike riding with your family and my, you know, my family. How does that sound? Does that sound mm -hmm. something like that before? I don't know. I don't know you like that. You don't know me like that? Mm -hmm. well, well, listen, how about this? <laughs> How about this? You don't know me like that. That's cool. That's cool. Um, but I, I definitely see that, you know, you have your family. You guys like to do family things. So we're going to go horse bike riding together. Um, and another thing that I actually want to do is this. Because you don't have a lot of time, I want to show you I want to show you something. And I think that you might know a lot of people that can benefit from this. Um, because my goal is I teach people how to leverage their time. So because I teach people how to leverage their time, um, and I want us to incorporate horse bike riding in. Is it, is it okay if I taught you a trick, right, that your daughter could use that could ma make her maximize how she horse bike rides or how she, do, how she uh, does her activities? Does that sound weird to you? It probably sounds weird because you never heard that before, right? Yeah, that sounds weird. Okay. So, so again, I don't want it to be really weird to you. Um, so, this is what I'll do. Um, I'm going to I'm going to have a, a event, right? I'm going to have an event, and what I want you to do is I want you to, if you can, if you can, you and your family, if you guys can, you could bring your daughter to it. Um, I think she's going to find it very beneficial. Now, now, how many daughters do you have? I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't even get to that question. You said you had three, one, right? You have one daughter and two sons. One daughter and one son. You said you had three kids. No, I didn't. You never did? No. Okay. So, so <laughs> you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The reason I thought I heard three kids. One of them is in college. So you do have three kids, right? No. Or just kids. My, my son is in his fourth year of college, and I have a daughter who's in um, high school. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I apologize because right now, <laughs> by the way, guys, this this right here is 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 not script. I apologize. It's I really. Okay. I guess he said three. Babies. Say that again. Don't make me have no more babies. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want you to have any more babies. But babies are a blessing. They change your life, right? They keep you busy. That's yeah, exactly. They keep you busy. They keep you busy, and they make you appreciate them a little bit better because you're having a much better life with them. That's right. So, 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 um, again, this. I really thought you said three. I apologize. That that was my mistake. I thought you had two kids at home that you do things with and your son who was in college. So that's why I said three. This is not part of the script, by the way, guys. This is literally me just messing up. I'll admit it. I just messed up. I thought she had three kids. But no, again, my transmission has been dropped for a long time. You say your transmission has been dropped for a long time? <laughs> hey, I have something called Venus and Mark. You heard it? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But but pretty much 
Um, it's kind of it's kind of a little bit weird. I want to. I, 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 I really wish we could do this presentation in person when we met somewhere because that would give us a little bit of things to talk about. Now, now because I'm trying to have a conversation over over Skype here. Um, you know, the details is a little bit more script wise. That's why it's hard for me to push a conversation to you. But I kind of want everybody to kind of understand the topics that you want to talk to somebody when you're talking to them in general. Okay. So the questions that I'm asking you, you know, what you do recreational wise or anything like that. If we were to meet up, like, let's say if we were met, meeting up in the mall or something like that, we'll be talking about the mall. Like, oh, what are you buying for your kids? X, Y, and Z. Right. Oh, what are the things that they like? Oh, cool. Well, you know, my family member likes this type of things, X, Y, and Z. Um, it would be cool, you know. But one of the things, too, that I, I like to say is, as human beings, you want to be a little bit more open. And that's not even for you. As the person that is going out and meeting people. Because you're going to have people uh, like Miss Carpenter here who, who, doesn't, who doesn't really know, like, know you like that and is going to be always have a guard up. So you want to be as friendly as possible so that even if they have their guard up, it doesn't seem like you're trying to be a creep or you're trying to pressure yourself on them, but you're friendly, right? And you should also kind of fill the, the, the people out because sometimes some people, they really don't want you to talk to them. And if you keep having a conversation, it's just going to get awkward, okay? So this, by, but by you having a conversation and you following the form, you know, one of the things that Ms. Carpenter has said a lot is time, Right? However, Ms. Carpenter has never asked me any questions about myself. Right? I so asked you if you had any kids. Apart from the kids, that was it. Right, because you were doing all the talking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is a life coach, hon? <laughs> how much is it going to cost for you to teach me how to leverage my time? What is leveraging your time? What is leveraging your time? So what I do is I actually teach people... I actually teach people how to, how to perform a task that will probably take the average person about 40 hours. I teach them how to do it in within an hour. And, um, and that's what I mean by I'm a life coach because what I do is I, I, I kind of change a lot of people's mindsets. I kind of I I show them a different way uh, to, to really live a much better life. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you know about two or three people that might be able to benefit from, you know, something that I'll do, like where I'll teach them how they can benefit their life or maximize on their time so that they'll be able to have more time for their family, friends, to know, you know, to do whatever they like to do? I think I know some people that would be interested. Everybody's looking for more time. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, thank you. All right. So, if you do know them, um, you know, you could definitely – you know, here's my card. You could give it to them or you could give me their information and I could contact them. So what makes you an expert in that? What makes me an expert? Well, I've been doing this. I've been doing this for about five years now. I've been doing this about five years and I've, I've helped a lot of people maximize their time and effort. Um, and, and, you know, usually, usually with the, how the conversation will go, I will, I will kind of swing it to the way. The reason why I don't ask you if you have time or if you want my time is Depending on how I have a conversation with you, I'm going to suggest people outside of you. And most of the time, people will bring it back to them. Right? So, so if I'm asking somebody, if she, she asks me, I'm a life coach, what I do, um, what are some of the things that I like to do or whatever, and I share it, I share what I do with her. I explain how to leverage the time where, you know, I teach people how to make 40 hours into one hour, maximize on their time. And do you know anybody that you think can benefit from that? She's going to tell me, yeah, I know a couple of people. More, nine times out of ten, depending on how I have a conversation with somebody, they're going to tell me, shit, I might need some time too. What do you do? I want to know. And that's how I could book an appointment or give them a conversation from that. But with her, uh, because, of, because of how the conversation is going, I, you know, I'm going to just tell her, okay, you can refer me to those people, and I can just talk to those people. Because with how Ms. Carpenter is coming off to me, if I were just to meet you, right, I wouldn't try to – I wouldn't even try to – to, 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 to try to get your information. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because it seems, as, it, it seems as though that with how my conversation has been with you, it's not that fluent. Do you get what I'm trying to say? It's not that fluent. And because it's not that fluent, you know, again, when you're having a conversation, you want it to be as genuine as possible. So you, your goal is to make as many friends, but you don't want to force it. You never want to force it. So because you don't want to force it, you know, when you have a conversation with somebody and they, they're not giving you that same vibe, 
it's okay. It's okay if they're not giving you that vibe. You know, just 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 cut it short and keep it moving. You know, your goal is to make friends, but if somebody doesn't want to make friends with you, with how you, you come off or with how they are in their state, you don't want to kind of affect that to you. You get what I'm trying to say? I got you. You want to mute me back? Hmm? <laughs> I got you. You want to mute me back? <laughs> I, was, I was ready to come to the launch party. It's okay. You was ready to come to the launch party? Yeah. It's, it's okay. All right. Well, well, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, if, because, because with you, I've, I've kind of already went through all the forms. So let, let's do this. I'm going to try somebody else, but thank you very much. Thank you very much. And, and wherever I try, try to be as hard as possible too, because I want, I want people to see how easy it could be just to have a conversation by using form. I want people to see how easy it could be. Uh, um, when you're doing this form. So let me do this really quickly here. Let me try somebody else. And thank you a lot, Miss Carpenter. Oh, she's on the phone now. She muted herself. All right, let me get one more person here. I'll try Miss Queen here. Because she got the same hat I got on. Okay. You guys are probably like, this is the longest call I've ever had. There you go. Miss Queen, you're muted. How are you doing? I'm awesome. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So let, let, let's, let's create a scenario. Where do you want to, where do you want us to meet at? Um, where, where, where are we meeting at since we're outside? The gym. The gym. Okay. That's dope. That's dope. All right. So we're going to meet up at the gym. I've never met Miss Queen before. So um, I walk in the gym. I see her working out. I'm working out. Again, my goal is not to try to talk to my goal is to try to ha me make a new friend, but it's not trying to, for me to prospect. So, walk to the gym. Let's say that I see her doing some squats, and she just got finished, and she's sweating, and she's done a lot of workouts. Wow, I see that you're getting it in today. I see that you're getting it in today. Yes, this lady. You got, you, got, you got all the sweats going on. That's what's up. That's what's up. What did you do today? So I did some leg presses. Um, I did some. I did like thirty minutes cardio on the uh, arc trainer, and oh. um, yeah, and then you know just these squats. <laughs> uh, trying to get it tight for the summer, huh? You yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, hey, listen. My name is Limo. What is your name? Aisha. How you doing, Limo? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. So Aisha, huh? You from around here, Aisha? Actually, I, I live like, you know, maybe like 15 minutes away from here. So, I mean, I'm not really from here, but I mean, I live nearby now. Oh, okay. Okay. So, so this is your, your first time coming to the gym, Miss Aisha? No, uh -uh. I'm actually here like three times a week. And the other times I just work out in the house. Oh, okay. Oh, well, well, you know, I actually don't live that far from me. I live down the street too. And I've, I've been going to the same gym, you know. I'm, a, I'm also trying to get my summer body back in the wintertime. You know, a lot of things happen, right? I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to be like Boss Aisha out here looking good, you know. Oh, thanks. Look good. Thanks, Lil You know, I'm trying to look good. I'm trying to look good. So, so let me ask you a question. Um, you know, do you, like, you come here a lot. You come here by yourself or do you bring people? Do you have gym partners or anything like that? No, not really. I need one because I, I mean, sometimes maybe I would come five days instead of three if I had a gym partner. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy because I, I'm trying to, even as I'm studying here, I'm trying to find a gym partner too. But, you know, I like to go to the gym by myself. Um, sometimes it's, it's hard to find a gym partner. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it is because people don't stay consistent. Are you consistent? Because I don't need you flaking on me. <laughs> I like that, Aisha. I like that, Aisha. You already, you already making me your gym partner before I even asked you, huh? See, I've said her name five times already. Oh, I, I muted her. Hold on. You're muted. You're muted. Hold on. I muted the wrong person. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm mute. And, uh, all right. There we go. All right. Yeah, I apologize. So I've already said your name five times, right? So, and we were, we we're already talking about the conversation is already looking like we're, we're already about to become gym partners. 
Right. Now, wait, was that supposed to, uh, you know, be difficult? Because I'm like, am I the difficult? No, no, no. You, you're just having a normal conversation. Okay, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. So how say, say exactly you how, what you would say if you had just met me at the gym and we're just having a conversation. I would. I would be just like this. What day exactly. So, <laughs> so, so that's how the conversation should go because it's natural, right? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people do be faking in the gym, man. They're not consistent at all. They're not consistent at all. Right. Well, so, um, I'll be back. Well, you know, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm because 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 you know I'm trying to I'm trying to look good for the summer. Um, but the reason why I'm really trying to look good for the summer is you know it kind of helps with it kind of helps with what I do right, with my profession. Um, oh, so wow. that's why I kind of like to work out. You know, sometimes to, and stay in shape for my profession, anyways. Um, but yeah, what about you? You know, you trying to look good for the summer. You know, a lot of people. Have you always been working out or what? But wait, rewind. You said you want to look good for your profession. Are you a personal trainer? Are you about to charge me to work out with me? <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to charge you to work out with me. Maybe I should. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But no, nah, I'm a life coach. Um, I'm a life coach. So um, I teach people how to, uh, you know, live a much better life, maximize on their, on their, on their life and on their time. So. You know, I can't teach something if I'm not doing the same thing, right? I agree. Yeah, you know, so that's 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 what I that's what I usually do. Um, and you know, it looks like we're already we're already down for gym. Um, yeah, and like for me, I mean, I like you know, I recently lost like forty pounds. I'm working on losing wow. thirty. So, you know, I got to. Wow. Okay, you looking you looking good. Forty yeah. pounds, huh? How did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> you you just came to the gym and they, they all just dropped, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, being consistent and wow. drinking a lot of water. Wow, okay, okay. Well, that, that's amazing. Look, I think you actually need to be a great fit for, um, you know, what I do with the life coach because I like to also have testimonies. And, um, and what I actually like to do is I like to show people how they can benefit just by living a healthier life, right? So is it okay if, uh, you know, I kind of, I kind of, uh, we kind of sat down and, got, and grabbed some coffee and uh, we could talk about how, you know, your story can impact a lot of people. So I want to hear about it in full detail. Is that okay with you? Oh, absolutely. Okay, cool. Sidebar, well, I like how you twisted it in there. Hmm? I said, I like how you twisted it in there, how you tangled it in there. <laughs> you got you to gotta be think on your feet, right? So, so, all right, cool. Well, look, I would definitely like to hear how you lost that pound because 40 pounds is a lot, right? And I'm pretty sure that it's going to motivate a lot of people. And if if you can... If your story could touch a person's life, believe me, I'll be happy. So definitely, let's let's you know sit down, grab some coffee. If you're available right now, we could do it. If not, you know, um, here's my card. Um, do do you, matter of fact, do you have a number that I could contact um, you with that is not your home or office number? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, what's your number? I'm gonna go ahead and send you a text now. All right, cool. Then you know you get the number. Now another thing too that I want to say is never ask somebody for their con. Never ask somebody for their cell phone number. Don't ever say cell phone number. You can either say, "Do you have a number that is easier for me to reach you at that is not your home or work?" Well, if I say home or cell phone number, huh? Because because this is the thing, especially for men. If you meet a woman and you can I have your cell phone number, it comes off weird. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah. For the men, for women, it might not be that bad, but for men on the call, um, you know, one of the things is you don't, you never want it because think about it. You're going to be approaching a lot of people. You don't know who is with your husband or wife or anything like that. So if you come in and you, you know, you guys are having a good conversation, everything is going good. You're talking with the family, and then you know, as husband or wife is standing right next to the person, and you're like, "Let me get your cell phone number." What? You know, that's going to come off weird. So you ask them, you know, is there a good number that I could contact you by that is not your, your home or work number? If you say home or work by default, that's your cell phone number. But you, it's like you're not asking for your cell phone number. And what that does, it, that kind of makes it a little bit easier for them to communicate with you and give you that number. And it doesn't, it doesn't make it look like you're just trying to get their, their information. Because, again, your goal is to try to look as friendly as possible and not, not be too abstract or too, you know, too strong. Do you guys want me to do one more practice with somebody else? 
because with I, with Miss Queen, it was really easy. I mean, we just went to recreations and we just booked an appointment. So, you know, it wasn't like I was fishing too hard for that. Um, anybody else wants me to do something else? Um, does anybody else want one more practice, one more? I can add. Um, I mean, because like to deal with that difficult person that, you know, may be challenging you in that moment to like not give you their phone number or whatever, what I'll do is I'll be like, are you on Facebook? What's your name on Facebook? And I'll have my phone in my hand. So they already see that. They told me they are on Facebook. My phone's in my hand and I'm prepared to type. So then they'll automatically, because I assumed they were going to tell me yes, they'll typically go ahead and give you their name. Now, whether they accept it or not, that's a different ball game. But the thing is, if your page is as it should be, as a professional marketer on social media, they're going to want to get to know you. So what's your Facebook? Exactly. See, now that's one thing Miss Queen, Miss Queen does really well, <laughs> which is, which is uh, Facebook. Um, and that's, you're right, that is definitely an option as well. Um, you know, just based on the vibe, guys, remember, you don't want to force anything. So, especially when you're going out to make new friends, if somebody is too, if the conversation doesn't go as smoothly as possible, you know, sometimes even asking for the Facebook might look weird, but definitely that could be an option that you could do. Uh, but just work on your, just work on, you know, just work on how comfortable you are. Remember, go on in a high state, go on in a good mode, go in with you feeling good. And by default, that's going to kind of outplay the situation. Okay. Now, um, I think I've given you guys a lot of information. We've been on this call a lot. Uh, let me do this. I'm about to unmute the call. So everybody, please, uh, you know, if you're making, if you have a loud background or anything like that, just mute. If any of you guys have any questions, you could go ahead and ask me. I'm unmuting all of you guys so that you guys could literally ask me any questions that you have as to either build your business, how to, how to talk about rejections or anything like that. I'll be more than help, happy to help you with that. On top of that, I'm pretty sure that everybody who sent out the 10 messages when we first got started, you might have some questions or you already have some dates booked. Now, if you, if, you've, if you have some dates that have already been booked, that is wonderful. If you have some dates that are already booked, that's good. Just remember, when you buy to meet them, you can either ask your upline to meet you with them. Um, if, I'm your, if, I'm, if you're in my organization, just let me know the dates that you've booked for this schedule stuff. And if I can make it, I'll be there. Um, if I can't, I'll do a Zoom call with you. Uh, but we'll, we'll try to get the information out. But remember, the goal is to just try to bond, have a conversation with somebody. That's the goal. It's not to, to try to pitch them a business, but the business will come up in the conversation, right? It's going to come up really smoothly. So let me, let me um, go ahead and unmute everybody. If you have any questions for me, please ask me, and uh, we'll go on from there. There we go. Everybody has been unmuted. Anybody got a question for me? Juan, you have a question for me? You're okay. Your background was the one that was up here. So, anybody on Miss Queen's team has a question for me? I know this I gave you guys awesome. some. Well, I totally appreciate you know you inviting us to be on here to get this and you know be able to learn so much that's working for y'all. You're, you're definitely welcome. You're definitely welcome. The goal is, again, the goal, guys, is just to create a culture. I want to create a really big culture. And, you know, we might not be on the same team, but we all have the same mission. And the mission is to just try to introduce as many people as we can to be the Divina. And for all of us to make a lot of money and make 2017 the best year of our lives, right? Yeah, and so, um, I got three uh, coffee dates out of the text messages so far. Hey, dope, dope, dope. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah. One of them actually came by here to buy some more tea from me as a return customer today. So I went on and texted him like, what you doing this week? <laughs> That's what's up, guys. But remember, guys, again, there's going to be the, the presentation on Monday. It's going to be a really big presentation. Please, 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 please come through, bring friends, bring family. The goal is to try to have a big room so that when we're taking pictures and, and shouting it out on Facebook and letting the world know what we're doing, it looks 
really, really good. So even if there are people that are already in the business, come. If you're already in the business, please join us. If you're not in the business, that's cool. If you're about to join the business, join. Bring people. Remember, every IBO is five dollars. But if you have five people, well, if you have five people, um, you know we'll pay for your your entry. Okay. So does anybody have any other questions for me? And this is a great call, by the way. Any questions at all? No, I just want to say thank you. Okay. Well, if nobody has any questions, you guys have a great night. Um, uh, thank you guys for taking the time to join. Um, you guys can follow me for anybody on Miss Queen's team. If you want to get uh, information or if you have any questions that you think about later, Miss Queen got my information. You could talk to her. Um, and she can send me some some questions or whatever. If you guys need any help, I'm here um, to help you guys as well. Okay. Thank you. This was awesome. Everybody right. have a good night. Good. Everybody job. have a great night and good happy holidays to y'all. All right. All right. Good night.